Hey kids, what's happening? I'm looking at my old artwork that I did up there. Just out of high school. I think that picture was inspired from one of the biker parties that I went to when I was just, you know, a young man. Uh, and I, I had a little bit of artistic talent. I know there's a lot of people that are way better than me. I drew this knuckle. Back about the same time, you know, I, ha I had a big uh, interest in motorcycles right off the bat from a kid and uh, started in, you know, hanging out with those kind of guys right off the bat. And, uh, <laughs> and I had to draw the uh, picture there. I think I used an ink pen on that one. But uh, actually art was one of my most favorite things to do when I was in school, art class. And of course I got A's in art class. Uh, <laughs> there were people who were way better than me. I mean, there's people that can draw, you know, a face and, and it looks very real. Um, I, I don't know, I, I never thought I was that talented. There's people that can paint. I got a buddy that, that, that paints just beautiful nature scenes and he's, he's real uh, well known in our community. Uh, but me, uh, although I really enjoyed artwork and I did well in art class, uh, I never considered myself to be a really great artist. Actually, my daughter uh, picked up art uh, when she was in school, and she's all, she's a better artist than I am. Or I, I'm, <laughs> I'll give her credit for that because I've seen some of her work, and and she does <laughs> remarkable artwork. But I was looking at this picture that I drew of the uh, bikers up there, and I was reminded about uh, Dave Mann. You know, Dave Mann was is has been uh, passed away, bless his soul. But uh, he's a very well known biker artist. Uh, he graduated in 1959, so at that it, during that point, I was about four years old. So he looked quite a bit older than me. Uh, and right away, he was infatuated with the biker culture. And he started drawing uh, sketches of, of motorcycles. Of course, he was in California, so he'd see the choppers going up and down the highway. And uh, that really intrigued him. And he eventually ended up buying a chopper of his own. So he rode to this uh, party one day with... Uh, with his chopper and there were some other guys there that had choppers too and he said you know their their choppers really outdid his by far but he was still pr pretty infatuated with it and he started meeting some of the people there some of the other bikers and getting to know them well, he had brought one of the paintings he had done or sketches that he had done and he kind of had it sitting close to his bike and one of the bikers saw that and was like that's really a good painting. That's really cool. You got a lot of talent. Uh, and so he said, I'd like to introduce you to one of my friends. Well, eventually he took Dave to meet Big Daddy Roth. And Big Daddy Roth, you know, was, was the uh, artist too uh, that was into like the, the, the dragsters, the race cars and, and motorcycles too. But uh, Big Daddy, uh, saw his pictures and was like, holy cow, this guy's really a good artist. And he made a poster out of one of his uh, paintings. And uh, it, it turned out to be real popular. But anyway, what really made David Mann famous, he said he had picked up an Easy Riders magazine, of all things. And there was an ad in there where Easy Riders said they were looking for artists, uh, people that were talented at, at drawing and artwork. So Dave submitted some of his paintings or pictures that he had done. And right away, Easy Riders hired him and said, you're on. And, you know, from there on, history was made because we've all seen uh, Dave Mann's uh, paintings and they're they're pretty cool. I like the one where he does the, uh, the uh, ghost rider, where the guy's on the bike 
and you can see the Pony Express rider like a ghost image behind him and they're riding through the hills and <laughs> he, he said the guy, the, the guy on the bike he it was just a fictitious character it wasn't anybody in particular and then the Pony Express rider was supposedly uh, kind of to make the comparison because Pony Express riders were single young men that were pretty hardcore that give their life up to ride a horse to deliver mail uh, through some hostile territory. So they were, you know, these were pretty hardcore riders. So it kind of matched the image of the, the rider on the motorcycle, the hardcore biker. So pretty cool. But, you know, going back to art, you know, I, like I said, I, I love artwork and, and I'm, I, I do have some artistic talent and once in a while I use it. I think everybody has their own style. Like I said, some people can paint, some people can draw, some people use other materials to create things. Uh, but, you know, everybody has a hidden talent. One of the things that in, inspires me around here lately and just this spring is the the, the beauty of God's art <laughs> his creation the irises are one of my favorite flowers that come up in the spring and they were vals also so every year I would uh, when we went to the nursery I'd buy her a different variety of iris and I, I just find them so intricate so beautiful the detail in these flowers is just amazing to me. And it's all part of God's creation, part of his handiwork. When I look around, just the, the beauty of, of what surrounds me every day, it's just incredible. And you know, people try to emulate that through art. You know, somebody will paint a, a painting of a mountains or or a lake or a stream and it's a beautiful painting but to be there in person to actually be there in the mountains looking at the mountains that is breathtaking there's no painting that can capture that kind of of image you know to be out in the woods and come across this babbling brook it's just there's just something about it the sound and the, the 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 sparkle of the water and the beauty of it that creation alone is you just can't capture it in a painting some people you know they'll say it's captured in a painting but i mean and it is it's a beautiful painting i'm not saying that it isn't it just doesn't you don't you don't feel that connection as you do if you're actually in nature so I'm saying <laughs> the things that God's created, when you look at them and you study them, that is beyond art. That is a miracle. You know, so many times we take for granted the things that are around us and we don't give it much thought. You know, we're wrapped up in everything else and we just don't take, take the time to really Smell the roses, as they say, you know. Really take a close look at, at what God has made for us and enjoy that because that's kind of soul cleansing, to me anyways. I, <laughs> I love nature. I love being outdoors. I love just breathing it all in and, and seeing the different sights and the wonders even across the country of of things that are just magnificent that art can't completely capture that well it's just a little bit chillier today the weather's been really warm and I've gotten a lot done I I got most of my uh, yard work done my lawns done my lawns mowed my my beds are mulched and put in my vegetable gardens done, my flower gardens done, everything's blooming. It's good. And I've had some time to work on the uh, Yamaha over here. So I've been getting it put back together slowly but surely. Today I was able to uh, uh, get the uh, 
auto lube hooked up and get that adjusted so that's fine-tuned and ready to go uh, the carburetors mounted uh, everything's all work in order on the, the carburetor and the auto lube I got my clutch uh, adjusted and working uh, I haven't quite got to the point where I'm ready to fire it up yet I got a couple other little things I got, I got I got to uh, uh, check the gap on the points and clean those up a little bit uh, among some other little things uh, I got new plugs to put in it uh, and then I've got to prime the system uh, but there's still a lot of more work to be done but it's coming along it's doing good and in between that whenever I get a chance I jump on the bike and I'm off for a nice little ride Well, cats, thanks for watching today, and uh, I hope you can breathe in some of the wonders of nature. <laughs> uh, wherever you are, uh, there's something there for you to check out, some of God's artwork. And, uh, you know, aside from that, <laughs> I'm really considering taking a trip up to the uh, Cleveland Museum of Art, because there's some incredible stuff to check out there. And being that I'm somewhat of an artist, I'm really in, uh, intrigued by other people's artwork, and I really like to, to check that out. I think I might even see if my daughter wants to join me, and we'll, we'll uh, take a run up to the Cleveland Museum of Art and see what they got up there. Well, thanks for watching. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and continue to join me along with this ride. And until next time, cats... Ride hard and die free.